dolls, it's Emily. So today I am having a fun Easter day with Brianna. We love Easter. Easter is actually my favorite holiday. So I thought it'd be fun if we go do a little bit of Easter shopping. I actually have on possibly one of my Easter dresses right now. I'm gonna show them to you guys and I want you guys to help me pick out which Easter dress to wear. So this is the first dress. It is like super, super low cut. Um, these are both from Forever 21, the ones I'm going to show you. So I'm going to have to like pin this, obviously. But it's really cute. It has like all these buttons going down it. And then the sleeves are all ruffly. And there you guys can like kind of see the length. It like comes like below my knees a little, but I just think it's so cute. Has like a really cute little pattern. And I don't know. I like it. I think I would wear probably like a little jacket with it, like a jean jacket. And then I got some cute shoes from Forever 21. They have had like really good deals on shoes. So these ones were only $12.50. Um, if I can find links to all this stuff, I will link it down below. And then these shoes were like $18. Um, I got these for summer though because they're a little too much for now. But I think that these shoes would look so cute with this dress. Okay guys, so this is dress number two. My hair is stuck to my lips. Um, so this is dress number two from Forever 21 again. It's super cute. It's like a faux wrap dress. It's not actually a wrap dress, but um, it just kind of looks like one. The only thing about this is that it kind of like fits weird on like my chest. Like it's really, really small. So like it keeps falling. I would definitely have to like pin it or something because it just like it keeps slipping like there's no way to like stay in this dress it's really weird but this is the print of it it's super cute it's pretty much like this maybe this is actually a little bit longer than the other dress it goes a little bit longer but i think it's really cute and springy i don't know i really like this one i just can't decide which one i like better let me know what you guys think. I definitely will put links for these down below if I can find these dresses because they were so cute. This one I think was only like $17. The other one was like 20 something. So they were really great prices. But even if I don't wear them for Easter, I'll probably just keep it for summer or something like that. So I also wanted to mention that if you guys are subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys turn on the bell notification. A lot of people always say this, but recently YouTube like came out with like a video explaining it. And pretty much they don't actually, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, they don't actually send you my videos, um, all of my videos, unless you guys actually hit the bell. So make sure you guys do that because I feel like a lot of people always are telling me they don't see my videos pop up, but that is why. So just make sure you guys hit the bell um, next to the subscribe button, but anyway, I'm going to put on an outfit for today, and then we're gonna do some Easter things. Okay, guys, so um, we just had some coffee. I'm gonna put a little clip here because we had it in these really cute little cups. They're my Easter cups. So we just had some coffee, and as we were getting ready, we are watching the Disney Easter Parade from 1989. Everything is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. We are getting ready to leave. I just got dressed and my jean jacket did not dry fully. So like it's kind of wet still, like it's a little damp. So I was trying to dry it off with a blow dryer, but it didn't work too well. So I feel like I'm gonna get sick if I go outside like this, but I'm gonna risk it. Um, so anyway, I guess I will just catch up with you guys once we get there. I feel like we'll probably get coffee or something before, but we'll see. So I put out my Easter sign. Happy Easter! This is so cute. Um, I got this at a little thrift shop last year for Easter. So I'm like in love with this thing. It's so cute. And then the other Easter decoration I have, I also got from that thrift shop, is this cute little bunny. And he bounces or she bounces. We just got to Rhinebeck and I don't really know what we want to do. I think I, I want to get some like Easter candy for my family. And I'm gonna see if there's any Easter dresses. Ooh, if there's any that we could are go to the wedding dress store. On sale. <laughs> yeah. I get a wedding Easter dress. Okay. We are going into the jewelry store. Oh, I want a 
right, that on. that's beautiful. So we'll have that's pretty simple. That is, look at this. Do you think that's more than it? I don't know. Look at that ring. So on our Instagram page too. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. So, but may, let me just make so it's 14 karat. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, feel free to take so it. Pretty. That's so pretty. Tell Connor. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my boyfriend and I, we've been together for eight years. So like, we're gonna get engaged oh, soon. Time. I know, we've been looking at rings mm -hmm. and like, we haven't been able to find anywhere that has like, cause I want rose gold like this, oh, but I want oval. We just haven't been able to find anywhere that like has things similar. Those are like the biggest thing. Super trendy. Yeah. This so, yeah. is so pretty. <gasps> I'm gonna send him a picture. Cause it's been hard because like I can't visualize it on my finger because mm -hmm. a lot of stores don't even have rose gold. So it's like hard to It is, it is. See. We have a few pieces, but yeah, I've always loved that ring. Oh really? But um, like they have like the halo cafe. around them, but I'm oh. sure we could. Yeah. We're, we're actually so custom making so uh, yeah. an oval ring. They actually oh, really? wanted the oval um, west, east, east, west. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's <laughs> so, so just so you pretty. get an oval idea. I, I haven't really tried any ovals. Uh -huh. This is gorgeous. You don't have to have the halo. Oh, looking this one. So this one's rose gold, which is what I want. It's okay. A little over half a carat. Exactly. Um, guys, look at like this. Liam was never like that. This one is. So this like, one would be twenty seven fifty. Okay. If you were to like take this and put it in a setting. Oh, of course, we have more available. So it's gorgeous. For something in particular. All right, you guys, so this is a store that we're at. They have such gorgeous rings here. I'm definitely gonna bring Connor back because I think I found the ring I want. Okay, guys, my hair looks kinda crazy. I don't know what it's doing today, but we went into the ring shop and we saw, I think, like my dream ring. I have like three different types of rings that I really want. Um, I know a lot of people think I'm engaged, which I'm going to um explain that in a little bit i'll probably like later on in that video when i'm actually home but i have like three different types of rings i really want and one of them was the one i tried on today so i'm really excited um i'm going to like tell talk to you guys more about this like later on and i can show you guys like pictures of what i want because i want to bring you guys along for this process because i feel like it's something really exciting for me and something i've been waiting for whenever i see other youtubers like starting to get engaged and married and planning weddings i love watching their videos of them planning everything so anyway brie and i right now are getting some sushi and then we're gonna walk around more we're gonna go get a bunch of like easter candy and make some easter baskets probably so i'll catch up you guys in a little bit Guys, look at the big chocolate bunny. Oh. Look how cute these little Easter baskets are. They're like made out of chocolate and there's a bunch of candy. Oh, that's fancy. It's so fancy. Okay guys, so we are in the chocolate shop and I'm trying to figure out what to get. I think I'm gonna get Connor some chocolate and my parents, but I don't know what to get them. There's lots of cute little like pops and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna do something like that. Like these are super cute. There's, oh my gosh. How cute. Look at these candles. You guys, I'm in Easter heaven. It's Alice in Wonderland. Oh my God. This place. This place is Easter. Surprise carrots. It's so cute. Surprise carrots, and I really want to open it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how cute this bunny is. This store, you guys, is like just so beautiful. That's so pretty. Guys, look how cute this little section is. Oh, so many. It says queen. 
queen bee. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. This little mermaid one is so pretty. A macaroon and Paris ones. I'm just like moving you. <laughs> this one is so cute. It's just queen bee. Guys, look how cute all these candles are. I want to have like a fun little birthday party. I like these blue ones. Wow. They're so cute. We should like do a birthday party video. <laughs> And all of these candles are so cute too. All the packaging, like everything is perfect. I know, I want my like house it. to be like this. Full favorite crowns in a little. Aww. Everything is just so cute. That's like such a cute party <gasps> favorite. Look at that. Wow. It's a little thing of candles. <laughs> As your voice cracks. Like everything is just so cute. Show it. I'm looking at a bunch of different essential oils. They all smell so good. This lemon one, though, it smells so good. I kind of want to get this for the house. All right, so this dress store is finally open. Every time you walk past it, it is closed. And it is just so beautiful. We kind of want to see if we can go inside, but like we feel awkward because- we have to make an appointment. We don't know if we'd make like an appointment to go in, but it's so cute. Look at this sign. I'm gonna zoom in. We're like standing like standing right there. We're standing like trying to hide Look how cute this sign is And what's this store called again? Chamonix. Chamonix, Bride. Chamonix Bride. Okay, so we're in Chamonix Bride in Rhinebeck and We have always wanted to come in here because it looks so beautiful And we're finally in here and their dresses look so so pretty Oh my gosh It's so gorgeous. Oh, look how pretty that back is. I love that. It's I so love pretty. like the thin straps. Mm -hmm. This is really that's pretty. Cool. That color underneath it. Yeah, that's so pretty. Look at this dress. It's so gorgeous. That's really pretty. That look cute on you. That one. Ooh, these. look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. What if you like try on long sleeves and you don't like it? You might be sad. <laughs> and I'd be confused. Wedding vlog. How cute. This is like the cutest store ever. Look how cute this little Easter window is. These little flamingo shoes are honestly the cutest things. I've ever seen these outfit ones. Butt. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so cute. I don't know. We are in the next candy store. We're in Samuel Sweet Shop, which is actually owned by Paul Rudd. <laughs> but they have so many cute candies in here. They have crap. I used to live on these things when I was oh, little. Yeah, I those about were those. so good. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. I might get like. I just love the Easter cookies. Thank you. Look how cute. Hey, okay, by the way, I bet this coffee is a pot. Yeah. Hey, by the way, it's like really famous. You guys, so we were. <laughs> We were just in Samuel Sweet Shop, and if you guys live in New York, you guys, or I mean, if you live anywhere, you guys might know that Samuel Sweet Shop is owned by Paul Rudd it, and and Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Hillary Burton. And I don't like know who um, Jeffrey is because I've never, <laughs> I don't know who this Jeffrey guy is. No, but I've never like never watched stuff that he's in. A guy came in with like a hood on and like was kind of like hiding, and it was totally him. And he was like talking to like the workers there and stuff. So like in this store, they have like the owners 
pictures on like these like Rice Krispie treats and I showed you guys Paul Rudd's and the other guy was totally that guy. And Brianna's like, oh my gosh, we didn't see him. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oblivious because I didn't know who he was. So. Okay, so we just took a little trip to the Culinary Institute of America. Fun fact, I actually looked at this college and I was going to go here, but I came for a tour and for like a, a like a class thing here and I felt really stupid because everyone was like really smart <laughs> with cooking, like knew all these technical terms and I was like, I don't think I would like this environment. Like, you know what I mean? When everyone's just so smart. Yeah, you feel so, out of place and it's yeah. overwhelming. And it was so overwhelming and I was like, I don't think I would enjoy this. So I decided not to go there. But anyway, <laughs> here we are. Here we are. We are here. We're going to go to their little bakery. It's called Apple Pie Bakery. And they have lots of yummy things. Like macarons. Macarons. Bye. Which way? Yeah, so we are matching as always. Just over here. This is a really big prom spot. A lot of people come into Yes, the they do. It's so beautiful. If you guys can see over all the bushes. Get married right there, other than that thing in the background, that chef guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. They just redid this whole bakery. Oh, yeah, I'm excited to see it. Guys, look at all of the macaroons. What? This is like the takeout area, and that's the dining. So, this is the inside. It is so cute. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see what we should get. Mm. Ooh, my favorite tea, Paris tea. Our food was super good. We couldn't even eat all of it. We ended up bringing it Sorry. in boxes. Oh, tell them what we ended up getting. We ended up getting, I showed you guys, we ended up, oh, we ended up getting um, sticky buns. I love sticky buns. They were so good. So we're going to go home now. I'm super tired. I kind of want to watch the Easter Parade movie. It's from, I don't even know what year, honestly, maybe like the 40s, 50s. Um, it's super cute. So I will catch up with you guys when we get back. So it is the next day. Today is one of my favorite days out of the year. I look forward to this day like so much. It's so exciting. So my mom and I, um, Easter is my favorite holiday. I think I mentioned this before. Um, but we always go Easter cookie shopping together and we go to the best Italian bakeries around here. They are super cute. They have such like a vintage vibe inside. You guys will see. Um, and we get tons of pastries. And when I say tons, we get tons. My mom is full Italian and we go full out with all the baked goods. It's crazy. So this is like one of my favorite things to do. If you guys have been following me, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have probably seen these pictures every year. And if you guys follow me here, I think I posted it maybe like when I was using my vlog channel. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. But anyway, I wanted to talk about the whole engagement thing. I've been getting so many questions um, as to whether or not I'm engaged or not. And I think that some people in my videos, they see um, a ring that like looks like an engagement ring on my ring finger. Um, right now it's like on the opposite hand. But basically this ring is a promise ring that Connor had given me maybe like the first year of college and I get really bad hand cramps. So I'm constantly, like if I have something on my finger or something on my wrist, I'm always like taking it, like the ring off and putting it onto the other hand. And I do it subconsciously, like I don't even realize it. In my last video, um, I filmed a week of dressing like a 1950s housewife or just dressing in 1950s clothes. And I had said on a couple of the days, like I couldn't vlog a ton because Connor and I were doing something really special and I just wanted to keep it private for a little bit. So basically everyone was guessing that we either were ring shopping, we were secretly engaged, we were like planning a wedding, we were pregnant, or we were buying a house. And those of you who guessed we were ring shopping were completely correct. Uh, we decided to not vlog it because we thought the first um, couple times of us ring shopping we should just keep private and just enjoy to ourselves and just see how we feel about it. So 
Um, in this vlog, I had no idea that like I would end up going into a ring store and trying on rings. So I feel like it's fun because I feel like now I got to kind of take you guys along ring shopping a little bit with me. I wanted to talk about this. I know whenever my favorite YouTubers start to like I know they're gonna get engaged and they start to like post like possible engagement videos and stuff like that I like freak out I get so excited so I'm really excited to like start posting content like this on my channel but basically um we want ring shopping and there are three types of rings that we've narrowed it down to one is a little bit of a simple ring which I'm slightly leaning towards I kind of like it I honestly like love all three so I'd be happy with any of them um the first one is simple I'll put a picture here the second one is a little bit extra, and then the third one is very extra. It's very bougie, as Connor and I keep calling it. Um, he loves the third one so much, and I honestly love all of them, so I have no idea what he's gonna pick. He can pick any of them, I would be happy with it, but we kinda just wanted to go ring shopping together to see, like, to make sure that we had the correct ring size for my hand. We wanted to just make sure that we were, like, on the same page and just, like, I don't know, just really just make sure that we have all of the like facts straight and stuff like that. That way it's easier for him to kind of decide what he wants to get me and whatnot. And it was so exciting and so much fun and I'm really excited for it. I don't know when I'm gonna get engaged. Like it's not a thing where like we are planning this all out together. I, th I think it's gonna happen by the end of the summer. I'm pretty sure just by like the few little hints he's given me. So I think it's going to be by the end of the summer um, and we want to get married within like a year of getting engaged Like we don't want a long engagement so we have been like looking at some venues like online and just like looking into that kind of stuff and just kind of like talking about who we would invite and like trying to figure out numbers and stuff like that. Um, but like we're not like full on planning it, we're more so just kind of like dipping our toes, I hate that saying, but like that's literally what we're doing. We're just trying to like dive into it a little bit just to kind of like see what we're getting ourselves into. And just so that like when we actually do, do get engaged, it's not like super overwhelming with like tons of stuff to do. At least we would have like knocked some venues off the list or figured certain things out. So that's what's been going on. Um, it's super, super exciting, super fun. If we end up like actually going to any venues, to tour them i definitely will take you guys along with me and like once i actually get engaged of course i'm going to bring you guys like dress shopping i'm going to bring you guys throughout everything i'm just so excited for that i cannot wait it's like very weird and surreal because i've been like waiting for this for so long but yeah so that's pretty much what's been going on but um i think my mom is here right now so we are going to go cookie shopping and there's more fun stuff to do today so i will just keep you guys updated we are at our first stop for easter cookies and i love all the windows they're always so cute we have all these easters it's kind of hard to see with the glare but this is the other one oh it's so cute yay hello Good. Marilyn and Elvis. We're at the second bakery. Look how cute. So many bunnies. Yeah. This bakery is like really cute and it has like such a vintagey vibe to it. There's like an old soda fountain. You guys, look at all these old pictures. This was it. I wonder what year that was. Do you see that cake? No. That's here. That's so crazy. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's so cute. That's the kind of wedding cake I don't want us to paint. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's what they did back then. It's so big. Okay, here's the second place's window. It's so cute. I wish there wasn't such a glare. You guys could see it better, but that's so pretty. So we just got back from cookie shopping. It was so much fun, and we got a ton of cookies. We got so, so many. I'm so excited to eat them all, but 
What I'm gonna do right now is make some Easter cookies. Um, if you guys, again, have been following me for a little bit, you guys probably remember these pastel puffs is what they call them. We kind of just call them the puffs, but I just feel like they look like little pastel puffs. So they are super cute. We make these every single Easter since I was little. So I am going to make those right now. I'm gonna make a blog post on the recipe, that way you guys can find it. So the blog post for this recipe will be in the description box down below. So just make sure to go to my website, sweetemmalines.com to find it. So we're gonna make these cookies. I just poured myself some coffee in my adorable little Easter mug and I'm gonna put a Easter egg candle on. Oh my gosh, I just remembered I have the Easter bunny candle. I totally forgot that I have this candle. The bunny cake! Okay, I'm gonna put this one on. <laughs> this is so exciting. I was gonna put the rose one on, but I remembered I have the bunny candle. <gasps> Yay! This candle's the cutest ever. Last year, I think it might have been last year or the year before, I actually made this cake on my channel. So if you guys wanna know how to make this, then just search my channel for like Easter cake or bunny cake. I don't know, it's under one of those things, but um, it was so fun to make. So here are the cookies. If you guys hear the Titanic music in the background, because I'm watching Titanic. Um, but these are the cookies. They are so cute. I feel like they're kind of like Easter eggs. So if you guys don't want to make Easter eggs at home, I feel like these are just a really cute alternative because you guys can eat these. And I mean, you could eat Easter eggs. So I feel like no one ever does. So I was just editing this video and I realized that my outro clip is not on my computer and my camera's dead. So I'm just filming the outro clip really quick on my phone, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. As I'm editing it, it's like 31 minutes so far. It's super long, but I know you guys always say you guys like my long vlogs, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. But I hope you guys all have a happy Easter and I'll talk to you guys next time.